Hi guys, welcome to Broomstick Home Workout Part 2. So this is the second video of the Broomstick Workout Series. And in this videos, we'll cover more with the core workouts and the rotation stability. And of course, we still have a lot of arms and legs exercises. And what you need for the equipment, you can get a PVC plastic uh, like bar or you can just simply get a broomstick from the uh, floor mop. You just unscrew the top and then there you go. And, um, and in this workout, we have a lot of big swing movements. So make sure you set up your mats and with a spacious area so nobody get hurt and no glasses cracking today. Okay, so and it's suitable for all levels. So just like have a nice stretching and then get sweat and feel good. If you like the video, please click the like button, subscribe it and then click on the ring bell. So if I have the new videos, you're the first one to get it. All right, let's go. All right, let's start with the warm up. Okay, so get your broomstick ready and then let's start with a good morning stretching. So put the stick behind of your shoulder. Okay, just uh, grip it a little, to, little bit wide apart to make your upper back feel comfortable. Okay, good. I need you to hinge your hip towards the back. Okay, and keeping your back straight and leaning forward. Okay, and stand up again. If you're flexible enough, you can keep your legs straight, but if not, you can slightly bend your knee. Yes, good. And stand all the way up. Okay, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, down. Yes, good. If you do it correctly, you should feel a little bit stretching on your hamstring, yeah? Good, it's a good stretching for the hamstring and lower back. Four, three, two, one. Okay, the next one, I want to do a deadlift hip hinge patterning training with you, okay? So what you need to do is uh, put the stick straight behind of your back, okay? And there's three points in contact, the back of your head, your upper back of the spine, and then your tailbones, okay? And then your hands is holding it behind of your neck and then the, your arch, okay? So what you do is find a wall, and I need you to do a deadlift, okay? Which is hinging your hip back and tap on the wall and make sure you're still in contact with that three points, okay? Behind your head, upper back, tailbones, and then you can stand up. So if you can do it without compromising, you're doing a very good deadlift movement. Yes, good. So it's a little bit different from the good morning stretching. So it's just a um, training for correct movement because we're going to do some deadlifts in the workout today. Yes, good, two more. And last one. Okay, super. And now you can put the broomstick at the shoulder again, okay? So we do the side bending. So lean on your right, back to the center. Lean on your left, back to the center. And repeat. So you can feel the stretching at the side of your oblique, the side of your core. Yes, good. Two more. And last one. Okay, keep bending, but this time straight arms. Yes, at the same time, you feel like you're pushing away from the boomstick. Yes, back to the center. Breathe out. Yes, good. Go down together with your head. Yes, good. Okay, last two. And last one. All right, now you can place at the center of your mat and overlap your hands, okay? Hip to the back, and then try to go down with your head and chest towards the floor. Keep your arms straight. So if you're a very good stretching at your upper back, your arms and your legs. Okay, now we can turn side to side with your head and look through your armpits. Yes, good, and four, three, two, one. Okay, excellent. Good. Okay. Now you can separate your legs as wide as possible, but not necessary to go into a split, okay? So play the stick at the middle and then sit down on your right. Send your hip to the back, knees pointing out, your feet are pointing out as well, okay? And use the sticks to keep you in balance, okay? Back to the center and to your left. Wow, I hear the cracking already and my hip joints. <laughs> Good. And breathe out down. Yes, 
that's good. Inhale, exhale, wow, nice one. Okay, last one. Okay, good. All right, now we go into a sumo squat, okay? Stay here with your legs and just sit down and knees out. Very wide squat, okay? And get back up. Yeah, that's good. And up and down. When you sit down in a squat position, make sure you're always sending your hip back, okay? And your heels are always on the floor. No stress on the knee, okay? Okay, last one. All right, great. We're still in this position with the legs. Okay, now holding the broomstick and then turn to your right. And then roll it down to your legs and give me pulses. So you feel the stretching at your hamstring, the back chain of your leg. Yes, good. Okay, other side. Go, 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 go. And four, three, Two, one. All right, let's get some uh, activation for your core, right? Today we have more like abs workout. So, all right, on your back, get down on the mat. Okay, let's go into a half hollow position. What you need to do is get your knee very close to your face. So you're kind of in an egg shape right now, okay? And pushing the bar up. And you, remember to roll your hip up, your tailbone is kind of off from the ground and your lower back is like pressing down, your belly button is drawing in. Okay, last step with the arms, okay? Move your arm overhead, hold it there. And you're still pushing the stick up, okay? Good, good, good. Stay here, keep breathing. Okay, return. All right, and then this time the lower half. Like extended, okay? If you feel lower back pain, then you can bring your legs up higher, all right? If you, if you feel good, you have to control, lower your legs. Yes, good. Three, two, one, okay, relax. Four, two seconds. Okay, good, get up again. In the round eight position, okay? So now we go into a full hollow position. Open your arms, open your legs. Stay here for a little while. I will tell you a story. No, just kidding, I can't hold for a story. And four, three, two, one, okay. Wow, it's kind of an intense warm up, right? Okay, now you can get up. All right, and we're going to lunge position, split squat, okay? Going down and up to warm up your leg. And keep the stick in front of your chest, roll your shoulder back. Okay, when you go down, knees down, and your front knee out, all right? And then when you go up, fully extend, okay? Squeeze your glutes and keep your back heel up. Don't step on the floor when you get up. Okay, go down and up. Ready? Let's go. Down and up and down and up. Okay, try to do it with the arm. Press it up, yes. Multitasking, two in one. Inhale, exhale, four. Three, two, okay, out of side. Okay, now left leg at the front, right leg at the back. Get everything ready, leg in tension, fire all the big muscles, shoulder back, broomstick at the chest, ready, go. Down, up, down, up, arms up, arms up, arms up, get down, push, and get the stick very close to your face, okay? So you're not rounding your shoulder when you do it. Down, up, down, up, and four, three, two, one. Okay, go fully down on the mat, relaxing your back leg, okay? So still, left leg at the front, and put a broomstick on your left as well, and shifting your hip forward. Yes, good, good, good. Have a good stretch here on your quads. Okay, what you need to do is eyes forward, and then bring your right arm up. Breathe out, you see if you can move it further back. Open up the fascia from the front all the way down to your knee. Okay, now I need you to bend your arm to the opposite side. Don't think too much, there's only one side you can go, so should be okay. All right, good. And then shift to the other side. Okay, this time right leg at the front and move the stick 
next to your front leg, okay? Hip forward. Yes, put more pressure on your hip, not on your knee, okay? Good, and square your hip, facing forward. And left arms up. Take a deep breath out, bring your arms back. Eyes forward, lifting your chest up. Yes, good. Another breathe out, bend your arm to the opposite side. Eyes forward, keep looking forward, chin up. Okay, super, wow, good stretch. All right, let's go. All right, let's go straight to part one. We have three exercises. Okay, let's start with the first one. It's the courtesy squat with the stroke side to side. Okay, let's break it down. Let's do the arm part first. So you're holding the broomstick, shoulder width apart, and then just like you're rowing on a boat, okay? Just do the stroke side to side. Just put an end inside the water, into the water, and bring it up. Easy, right? Okay. Work on the leg. Separate your legs and then bring your left foot to the back and squat down like a courtesy breathing squat, right? Okay, get back, squat down, get back. Yes, easy, right? Okay, now we can combine it together. All right, when you squat down, left leg at the back and then roll the stroke to your right. Okay, and stand up, roll it to the opposite side. Let's do it again slowly. Yes, good and to the opposite side. Ready? With the music bit, go right. Stand up, Woo! almost break the door. <laughs> Down, up, yes, good. If you have a limited apartment space like me, make sure you adjust your broomstick first and usually you can make it shorter by twisting it. Yes, good. Woo. And every time you squat down, go lower with your back knee. Yeah, four, three, Two, one. Okay, other side, we do too slow, okay, to get used to the movement. So this time, send your right leg to the back and courtesy squat, and then stroke it to the left. So actually, where your foot go, you go with your arms. Simply as that, don't complicate the thing, okay? And then to the opposite side, one more. Cross your leg, stroke down, and other side. Ready, go. Down and up and down and up. Yes, good. Down. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Super. If you're feeling good, you can keep your head forward, okay? You don't need to look down, yeah? You don't need to look down when you do the courtesy squats. Whew. Down, up. Put the power on the front leg. Focus on your front leg. Yes, good. Four, three, Two, one, okay, super, super. Okay, exercise two. So go into a sumo squat position, okay? Just like we did in the warm up. So holding this broomstick right in front of your chest. What you need to do is turn to your right and then drop your left knee down and then strike it to the side. Simply just like the martial arts, the Kung Fu, right? Back to the center and then strike it to the other side. Make sure when you strike, drop your knee low, okay? Okay, back to the center, to your right. Go, strike, center, strike, center. Yes, good, go. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Whew. Yes, good. When you breathe out, you got more power for the twisting. Yes, good. For the rotation of your core. Go, go, yes, look pretty awesome, right? Like a Kung Fu master. <laughs> but make sure nobody near you when you're doing this exercise, okay? Nobody get hurt today. <laughs> Good, and four, three, two, one. Okay, good, good. Now put it down on the mat. We go down and then on your hands, on your feet, get into a tabletop position. And what we're going to do is lifting your knees up and then we walk across the stick and then walk back. Yes, good. All right, abs in, tuck it in, knees up, shoulder down, forward and back. Let's go forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Yeah, try not to touch the broomstick. 
otherwise rolling around like my one. And try to walk with the feet as well, not only your arms, okay? Whew. Wow, it's quite difficult not to exercise, like not to touch the broomstick. Four, three, two, last one. Okay, Whew. lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, get up, round two. Courtesy squat with the shrug, okay? So send your left leg to the back, okay? And stroke it to the right. And this time I want to add a little bit surprise movement. So when you get up, not stepping your feet on the floor. When you get up, I need you to bring your knees up. It's like, oh, it's like a knee strike at the same time. Okay, let's do two in slow motion. Okay, step back, stroke, get up, knees up. Yeah, looks super awesome, right? I like it. Okay, knees up. Okay, ready? We do it with the music. Let's go. Stroke, knees up. Stroke, knees up. Back to the original position after you bring the knees up, okay? Whew. Whew. Always breathe out when you get up. Exhale. Exhale. Yes, good. Whew. I hope I'm not scratching my wall again. And I hope my landlady is not watching this YouTube video. <laughs> and four, whew, three, two, one. Super. Wow, it's fun, right? And you forget like the muscle pain on your legs. Okay, good. All right, right leg to the back. And then knees up. We do too slow, okay? Slow motion, okay. Right leg to the back, stroke and then knee, knees up stroke. And then right into the back, knees up. Okay, with music, go. Down, up, down, up, down. Yes, good. Eyes focus, yeah? Look forward, find some object to focus on, to look at. Super, super. Nice, and four, three, two, one. Okay, super fun, right? Okay, good, go down into a sumo squat. Okay, we're doing the strike, right? And this time, I want you to strike as hard as possible. But remember, imagine there's a invisible object here and you have to stop when you reach the object, okay? You can't like really go uh, without a uh, limit, okay? Otherwise, you'll hyperextend your joints. Just like when you're kicking the football, right? You have to kick on that to protect your knee. If you kick into the air, then you know what's happening with your knee. Just hyperextend it and you feel like super painful on it. So make sure after a heavy strike, you have to stop it. Imagine it's an object here, yeah? Okay, sumo squat to the right. Right, back to the center. Left, yes, good. Yes, good. Stop the broomstick. A powerful strike. Super. That's good. I learned it from the martial arts. Looks pretty awesome, right? <laughs> and turn your head side to side. Focus on your invisible object, okay? It can be your boss, or it can be your clients. <laughs> Or your girlfriend, boyfriend, yes, good. Ah. Hit, center, hit, center. Four, three, two, okay, good. All right, all right. Get into the mat. Okay, this time we're not doing tabletop anymore. We're going to do a full high plank. It's up to you, you can do tabletop or follow me into a high plank. Just go back and forth, let's go. Walk forward, go back. Forward, walk back. Open your fingers, yeah? Up, down, up, down. That's good. And keep your hip low, not bouncing it up, okay? Shoulder right above your hands. Four, three, two, one. Okay, nice, last one. 
Okay, courtesy squat and knees up. All right, ready? Left back to the back, knees up. Back, knees up. Whew, good. This time, if you want, you can add a little bit front kick. Ho, ho, acha. Yes, good. Whew. Four, three, two, one. Super. Other side. I hope you're not hitting any walls or light bulb in the room, okay? So, <laughs> right leg to the back and stroke and knees up. Let's go. Step back, knees up. Step back, knees up. Down, up, inhale. Exhale through your stomach, yeah? Breathe out from your stomach. Then you got the core tension, really helpful. Ready, front kick. Front kick. Yes, good. Come on, four more. Four, three, kick it with power. Two, one. Okay, last sumo squat. <laughs> okay, of course we're doing the striking side to side. This time, a bit faster, okay? But we start with the slow one. Ready, go. To your right, center, left, center. Whew. Powerful strike and your invisible object. Yes, good. Ready? Speed it up. Hit, hit, hit. So non stop at the middle. Keep going side to side. Whew. You can hear my breathing, right? And you need to breathe out that hard. I'm not being dramatic, you've got to break it out. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Okay, wow, that's insane. Okay, good. You know what? The last one, we're going to do high plank and walking, plus push up. So go forward, push up, go back, push up. All right, it's up to you. You can still do the tabletop or normal walking. You can do the walking. Hold it there, wait for our push up, and then walk back with us, do the push up. Always a modification for you. Okay, let's get ready. Let's go. Forward, push up, walk back, push up, walk forward, push up, back, push up, forward, push up, back, push up. Wow, this broomstick is not my friend, right? Always want to escape from me. Three more. Two. Last one. Okay. Oh, super stretching ready. Okay, let's move on to part two. Okay, part two. And it's the same with part one. We have three exercises, okay? Let's start with the first one. The first one is quite interesting. So you can put your left leg at front, okay? And then holding the broomstick like you're holding a saw or like hammer, okay? So like that. Yeah, you see it? Yeah, good. Okay, so what you need to do is, imagine you have a big hammer right here, right? Like four, and then just hammer it down, okay? Just strike it down. Diagonal from the top corner, left corner, to the bottom right corner, and return. It's a chopping action, okay? Let's go. Chop, return, chop, return. Yes, yeah, good. And just like last round, we're doing the strike, right? You have to imagine there's an invisible object on the floor and just hit it with the broomstick. Yes, yeah, good. Yes, yeah, good. And twist with your shoulder and head. So shoulder forward, shoulder to the side. Yes, yeah, good. So engage more with your oblique. Chop, return. Four. Exhale. Two. One, okay, other side. Right leg at the front and strike it to the left. Let's go. Return. Yes, good. Yes. Breathe out. Yeah, check the shoulder again. Yes, good. Turn it to the left. Excellent. Yes. Good, and four, three, two, one, okay. All right, next one is relatively easy. Remember what we did in the warm up, we do the deadlift patterning, right? So send your hip up a little bit and hinge it to the back. So it's not a squat, okay? 
is a hip hinge. Okay, get the stick very close to your thighs and then roll it up. Okay, upright rows. And your scapulas, squeeze them together when you get up, okay? So down and up, rowing it up. This is for your upper back muscles. Yes, good, good, good. And see if you can bring your elbows up past your body. At the same time, fully in contact with your leg, okay? The broomstick is rowing on your leg all the time, yeah? Good, and four, three, two, one. Good, easy peasy, yeah? Always good in the round one, honeymoon. Okay, good. And now remember what we did in the warm up, right? The hollow hole. So head up, get your nose very close to your knee. Okay. Open your arms, open your legs. Just hold it here. Yes, good. I know it's quite intense, but just try to breathe it out. Keep breathing. Inhale, exhale, in, out, good. And see if you can switch your legs, okay? Slow and control. If you're feeling your lower back, so just stay up with your leg, not too low, okay? And switch. And switch, and two, and one, okay, wow. It's not like nothing, but when you do it, you feel the total burn on your core. Okay, good. Let's go back to the chop. Okay, left leg at the front. Okay, now we add a little bit circling, so it's like super awesome, like Kung Fu martial arts. Okay, left leg at the front, and what you need to do is, after the chop, circle it back. So get it very close to your legs, and then chop it down again. So one more slow motion. After the chop, here, next to your leg. And then bring it up again and chop it down. Okay, circle and chop. Circle and chop. Yeah, that's good. Actually, I, I do take the um, martial arts for the reference and they're targeting the fronts because they're hitting the enemy, right? And now we're only doing the fitness training with the broomstick, so I modify a little bit, so we're hitting to the side. So we have more rotation, range of movement, yeah? Okay, chop, circle, chop, yes, good. Four, three, two, one. Okay, other side. Okay, good. So after the chop, I need you to circle it back and chop it again. Okay, so one more slow motion with me. Down and circle it next to your front leg. Bring the top end up and chop it down again. Okay, circling first. Let's go, circle, chop, circle, chop. Yes, good. Shoulder forward, shoulder to the side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Yeah, breathe out harder with the power, yeah? Yes, good, yes, good. Wow, I can't believe the broomstick can do so many workouts. We have to make two YouTube videos about it. <laughs> Amazing, right? Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Okay, good. Back to the upright rows, okay? So make sure your lower leg is vertical to the ground. Your knee is not shifting forward, okay? Hip back and high. All right, this time we do a single leg upright row. So bring your left leg to the back. So it's kind of like slightly supporting your body. And you lean all the body weights on your right. Okay, roll it up. Let's go. Up, down, up, down. Yes, good. And drive your elbows up and squeeze your scapula, but don't shrink your shoulder, okay? Drop your shoulder down, long neck. Look at the mat all the time. So keep a very beautiful neutral spine. Okay, other side. Yes, good, don't stop your arms, keep it moving. Row, down, exhale, inhale. Yes, good. If you do it correctly, you should slightly feeling your glutes at the same time. Super, four, Three, two, one. Okay, let's get down. Hold the hold. 
Okay. <laughs> I really hate it. That is a good exercise to train your core stability, right? Okay, good. Pushing the stick up, open in a hollow position. Okay, switching legs and switch and switch and switch. <sighs> yes, good. Keep your head and shoulder up, okay? And one thing you can do to remind yourself is like, imagine you're holding a very heavy stick, so you have to press it up to the sky. Yes, good. Go, 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 go. Super. Just a few seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, good, good, good. Wow, that's quick. Last round already. Okay, left leg at the front. We're still doing the chop and the circling. And this time we start with slow and then we'll build it up faster. Let's go. Chop, circle, chop, circle. Hit. Yes, yeah, good. And check your knee, not collapsing in, okay? Chop, circle, chop, circle. Ready? Speed it up. Hit, 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 hit. Yes, yeah, good. Keep it moving. Think about your core. Your core is the main muscle controlling this movement. Go, 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 go. And four, three, two, one. Okay, wow. I do it fast, it's quite intense. Okay, right leg at the front. And still remember the invisible object. I don't want you to hyperextend your elbows, okay? You stop right at the objects, okay? So do it slowly first. Circle and chop, go. Circle, chop, circle, chop it down. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Four, three, are you ready? Let's go. Circle, chop, circle, chop. <sighs> Remember, you're moving your shoulder, yeah? Shoulder, shoulder, circle, chop. Chop, chop, Whew. four, three, two, one. Okay, last one before the third exercise. Okay, we're going to do a deadlift upright row, okay? And this time, if you want to challenge yourself, you can follow me, okay? I need you to bring one leg to the back, okay? And the front leg, you're still staying in a deadlift position. Hip to the back. Okay, ready? Let's row. Woo. Yes, good. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Super. Look at the mat. Stay focused. You're rolling the stick on your thighs, okay? If it's not touching, now you're rounding the shoulder and doing the rolling. I need you to target your upper back. Four, three, two, other side. Okay. Bring another leg to the back, or you can go back to the floor. Up to you. Ready, set up, and go. And go. All good, yeah? Just a few more to go. Stay focused. Think about your upper back. Four, three, two, one. Okay, excellent. All right, last. The third one. Okay, this time we do the same, but when we're switching the legs, I need a small movement, but faster, okay? If you can manage your lower back, you can bring your legs up high a little bit, okay? If you feel pain on your neck, you can rest on the floor, okay? Okay, pressing the stick up and switch your legs. Switch, 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 switch. Yeah, you got it. Yes, good, excellent. As I said before, emerging the stick is super heavy barbell. We just press it up. Yes, good. Okay, ready? For the fast kicking, as fast as you can. Go, go, go. Excellent. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Ah. Ah, that's it. That's it for all the exercise for the broomstick workout. So, if you haven't done my first one, go to check out my YouTube channel. That's the first broomstick workout, okay? And if you enjoy, you can try to do my other home workout as well. Just have fun, get sweat. And remember to like and subscribe. All right, see you in the next video. Bye.